uh, we're Emily and Dean and this is our video guide on Gilly Tea. At the end of the video we will give a kind of overview of what we thought but enjoy the next 15 or so minutes of our three day experience and we'll give you our opinions at the end. Good morning, it is 6.23 and we have just packed up the rest of our room because we are heading to Gilly Tea. We booked our transfer and ferry with our accommodation and it came to 300 IDR each, which we thought was pretty reasonable because we'd seen it a lot more expensive online. We've arrived at the port. We've arrived at Palang Bay, at the ferry port. We've got our landmarks and we're just walking down to the pier to find our boat. Our ferry departed from Padang Bay, but there's also options from Ahmed and Sanur. Expect to pay 10,000 IDR each as a port tax. Not gonna lie, the experience was kind of chaotic. There were so many people, but they do give you a lanyard and they do just kind of shout at you and tell you which boat to get on as and when it's time. But when you head on, just grab yourself a seat. And then as you'll see in a moment, we did luckily make it onto the top deck. <laughs> so, we're on the boat and originally we were sat downstairs but when we got out of the harbour they allowed a few of us to sit in this top bit back here and then Dean fancied a beer so he bought a beer for 40,000 IDR and the gentleman, he's not here anymore, he was sat just behind us said we can go sit out on the top deck so not only are we sat on the top deck right now we are the only people sat on the top deck yeah. right now on a little mattress type pillow and it's just us in the sea there's nobody else in front of us that's it just us absolutely winning right now love it this is beautiful it's amazing we were lucky enough to see a couple of dolphins as we were coming into the port and as we approached, we didn't quite realise how close the gillies are. They were literally a couple hundred metres apart. Okay, so we have made it to Gilly Tea. Um, as you get off of the, I oh guess, the fast oh, boat oh, 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 into the actual port, you will have to pay a tourist tax. The tourist tax is 10,000 per person. And now we are just going to have a little mooch, which is about a kilometre to our accommodation. It's a bit warm, it's heavy. There's a lot of people here. It's very, very, everybody's in each other's faces. Um, yeah. Good afternoon. Um, we have arrived at our accommodation for the next three nights. We're at Gilly Sma Bungalow, and it is genuinely a minute walk to the beach straight down there, um, which is so ideal. We've just had a bit of lunch, we've just kind of chucked all our stuff in our room and now we're going to go have a little swim I think and just cool off. We're feeling a little bit tired, I think we've been on the move all morning and not not eaten a lot so we're Do just going to chill out. Glenn. That's it, see some fishies and see where the rest of the day takes us. Those are my goggles by the way. Well done. Cheers. Our accommodation came up to 227,000 IDR a night, which we thought was really good given the location and we got breakfast included as well. So that worked out about £5.80 each a night. We've just had a little swim in the water and genuinely within 10 minutes we saw a turtle, um, which was really cool. As well as lots of other fish and wildlife as well. So. I love it here, it's like a proper little, proper little power. So we've had an arrival in Gilly Tea today. It's been quite a busy day so far again, but took a trip down to probably the more party side of Gilly Tea to the, um, this evening, which was very nice. We had some dinner, we've come back, now we're gonna um, do a bit more work and 
Hit the hay. Yeah. See you in the morning. On the west side of the island is a free gym called the Jungle Gym, which Dean made use of first thing in the morning and he had it all to himself, which he was really pleased about. Good morning. It is day two, our first full day on Gilly Tea. It is half eight in the morning and we have just hired two bikes for the day. Came out at 50,000 IDR each, which we thought was pretty reasonable. It is the only form of transport that you can hire because there's no mopeds or cars on the island. So we thought we'd just have a little ride around and see what we come across. little morning cycle done so we got up we've done some editing trained done a little cycle and now we are going to go and have some breakfast yeah. we were just about to get some food and then it occurred to us that we've got breakfast included in our accommodation so we're going to go give that a go now are we going to eat it on the beach snorkeling, a bit of sunbathing and just generally relaxed because we had a busy few days in a bird and we just wanted to put our feet up but not only that we had planned on having a night out in Gilly Tea that evening so we wanted to be refreshed and awake and ready to go. Good evening. We have had... Oh. <laughs> Sorry I'm sat on a bike. We have had a very very chill day I mean very chill we've done not a lot at all we've just been chilling by the beach doing a bit of snorkeling sunbathing had a little afternoon siesta done a little bit of video editing and now we've just got them ready and we're gonna go get some dinner and give Gilly Tea Nightlife a go Friday night apparently sand bar is the place to be so we're gonna go and give that a try and uh, there is also a free cinema on the sunset um, side so it's Starts. the dark night Batman tonight go and give that a go maybe for you know even if it's just an hour maybe a couple of drinks there and then um, it looks like everything starts a little bit later in Gilly I think everybody's still recovering from the night before <laughs> drinks that included two beers and two pink Smirnoff ice I think they are came to 160,000 so not too bad especially given that's like a seafront shop as well so probably a little bit more expensive than you get inland so can't argue with that we actually got the dates wrong for the cinema it's actually La La Land that was playing that evening but we didn't mind we really love that film so we just sat by ate some food and watched that for about an hour so we've just made it to the other side of the island, to Sandbar, assuming there'd be like a big party or whatever. It's currently quarter past nine. And it doesn't start till 11. That's now... way past my bedtime. <laughs> Usually we're in bed by that time. It sounds so boring, doesn't it? But we like to be early. We like to get up in the morning, get things done. Get shit done. Yeah, we're more of like a go to bed early, wake up early couple. But um, we're gonna have a little mooch long here and see what else we can find. Yeah, go from there. We stopped off in a couple bars and listened to some live music and what we found really nice was just there were so many people from all over the world visiting this island, so it was really nice. So we've just been having a little walk around and I think we've come across the night market, which includes both food and Souvenirs. Souvenirs. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna have a little walk around here and see what we can find. So at the grand age of 26, how old are you now? I'm 23. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go to bed. We haven't it's even been out yet. It's not even 10 a.m. Sorry, 10 p.m. Jeez. 
spoke too soon after a couple more drinks we did actually make it out into a couple of the clubs but we didn't really feel much because we were just enjoying ourselves good morning so it's breakfast time it is currently 7:53 a.m on saturday the 7th of october and we are just about to have breakfast some fresh orange juice as we said this is included within our accommodation so very very nice all right so we have just paid for our boat trip we are going to be going around snorkeling the gilly islands which would be very nice hopefully see quite a lot of wildlife underwater some turtles we were lucky we literally rocked up the other day and saw a turtle within like 10 minutes of snorkeling just off the beach at gilly tea so hopefully we'll see a few more today and uh, see where the rest of it takes us we booked our snorkeling trip through our accommodation at Gilly Smile and the company was called Aussie Snorkeling Centre. It cost us 150,000 IDR each, which we thought was reasonable for a four hour trip. It was with a group, so I think there was about maybe 15 to 20 of us in total. And we did get snorkeling equipment included in the price as well, which was really good. Our first stop was this collection of underwater statues referred to as the Nest. It's meant to represent a bridge between the human world and the marine world and is made up of 48 human-like statues arranged in a circular formation. It was really amazing to see, but we have to say this stop was particularly busy and we did just end up getting kicked quite a lot by all the other people that were there to see it as well. Our next stop was Turtle Point. This is located at the north of Minnow Island. We really enjoyed this stop and we saw probably a dozen turtles, which was really amazing. We were the only group at this stop at the time as well, so it was much more calm and collected. Dean got this really nice shot of this baby turtle coming up to the surface, which was really, really beautiful to see. Final stop of the morning was Fish Garden. We saw so many tropical fish in absolute hundreds. Our guide also got a little bit of food out and started feeding them, so they just came in swarms. It was really, really cool. We stopped for some lunch on Gilly Air and we thought it'd be a good opportunity to get the drone out and have a look at this beautiful island from the air. It didn't disappoint. on Gilly Air. We've had three stops so far for snorkeling and we've seen loads of turtles and loads and loads of fish. It's been really nice, the weather's been really good today as well. The water isn't too choppy, so it's just been really good vibes. Good afternoon. So we've just made it back to our accommodation. We had a really nice time snorkeling. We are now just going to head on out to the other side of Gilly Tea, which we explored last night but it was nightlife chaos so we're just going to go and have a little walk down there now sort our tickets out because tomorrow we're heading to Nusa Penida we headed on down to the southeast side of the island and en route we stopped off at this lovely little French bakery where we got a cinnamon roll hands <laughs> down that's one of the best cinnamon rolls I've ever had. Try it. It's flaky. Oh, it's good, it's good. Mm. So We've just been having a little walk around and we've secured our Gilly Tea fridge magnet. The guy came in at 35 to begin with, but we walked away with it for 20, so we thought we can't really argue with that, to be fair. And it's a really cute little one. It's really nice. So, yeah, happy days. Good little purchase because it's our last evening um, on Gilly Tea that we're going to head to the northwest side of the island 
where we're going to catch hopefully a really pretty sunset. So we'll see you there. So we just made it to the beach and it's a little bit cloudy but it still looks very pretty. I um, just wanted to make a little note on something that we feel a little bit uncomfortable about here on Guinea Tea and that is the horses that are always used for transportation and for leisure here. Um, there's a horse here who's tied on with like a tiny little bit of rope and all this sort of rubble and wood and stuff and it just doesn't really sit right with us I just don't really think you know it's not something we would promote or would participate in and you know we just, we just don't like it we stopped off at Rabbit Jump which was a beachfront beach club. They had a swimming pool where you could dive into it from a really big height and we shared a Thai green curry for dinner. Alright so we've had some dinner which was um, over at Sunset Beach. We're now back over the other side of the island where we're going to go and find ourselves some tickets to Nusa Penida. Two people I know called Jesse and Marley that would really enjoy this one. So this is kind of our uh, overview and what we've really thought of Gilly Tea, its pros, its cons, and really just the general consensus for us. Not everybody else, just us as a couple. Because of our tight schedule, we did only stay on Gilly Tea. We have heard that Gilly Air and Gilly Menu is a bit nicer to stay on, but this is just our opinion of Gilly Tea, because that's the only one we've really spent our time on. Yeah, so first of all, if we run through kind of some of the things we didn't like, I think for us both the horses um, transport, just the lack of, I mean we don't see what goes on behind like, you know, closed doors, maybe they get really well looked after, but just from our visuals, they weren't treated all that great, I think they're overused and personally I think you can get around the island super super quick, just hire a bike, it's, it's cheap enough and look, you know, it's a small island. There is a lot of rubbish everywhere. Um, it could be cleaned up. There isn't any kind of commercial bins for anybody to really use apart from outside. Um, maybe it's Sunset Beach, it's pretty much the only places. And then the Portside Beach as well. I did see a couple there. There isn't any street lamps going to and from really between the one side of the island to the other. Uh, I guess last but not least on the things we didn't like would be the boats and the overcrowded tours. There's a lot of pollution, you can smell it um, as soon as you're near that port. Not only that, as you come further down the beach where we were staying, you can really smell the fuel being burnt. So in sort of opposite to that, we did see a lot of wildlife. If you want to go and you want to see lots of turtles and fish, then definitely the Gillies is the place to go because it is absolutely teeming. So if you go on one of those tours, that's where you'll see the most. The beaches are gorgeous as well. All the way around the island, there's just beaches. So wherever you stay, you'll be within walking distance to one, which is really, really convenient. And also the sunsets are fantastic as well. You'll catch the sunsets on the west side of the beach, sunrise on the east and they didn't disappoint at all. There was a couple of cloudy evenings, but they were still really beautiful. In response to the horses being used as transport, that is because there are no motor vehicles, so there's no mopeds and there's no cars. So the only alternative is, is either horse or bicycle. Um, so, you know, there's no, there's no mopeds, no cars, which is good, I suppose, for say air pollution, things like that. But then you've got the horses instead. The nightlife is pretty good. We gave it a go for one night, and so we didn't make it out too late, but we did give it a go, and it was really good, and if you're definitely going for that 
vibe, if you're going to have a few drinks and enjoy your nights, then definitely it's the place to go. Absolutely. It was really good. Would I go back straight away? Probably not. Um, I'd visit some of the other islands and especially some of the other surrounding islands around Indonesia. Yeah. But um, if you're up for a party, Gili Tea is the place to be. Yeah. They developed Gili Tea quite a lot to the point where it's a little bit too touristy. You've kind of lost that Indonesian vibe, to be fair. It just feels a bit overdone. But you know, if, if you're looking for you know cheap drinks and good food, then it's the place to be.